What's up everyone? My name is Abby. I like to read and once again I have a very late double unboxing for you guys. So the first box I'm going to unbox is the Dreamy box from Dreamy & Co. And I got this last month? Maybe two months ago? This is the May Dreamy box and it is To Whatever End which is um, Throne of Glass themed if you don't know. It's my favorite series, so of course I had to get this box. Um, so the first thing I see in here is a pin banner. And when I first started getting book boxes, everyone was always like, ugh, enough with the pin banners. And I was like, what? Guys, come on. Let's get some more pin banners. I love pin banners. But now I kind of understand because I have too many pin banners for my pins like I I don't have enough pins to have like what is it one two three four five. this is my sixth pin banner I don't have enough pins to fill these um but it says rattle the stars and um there's like floral designs there's mountains and a moon which I feel like is like more nods to all of Sarah J Mass's work. Um, is this, isn't this just Thorn of Glass? I'm pretty sure it, to whatever end, that's Thorn of Glass. Um, it has these moths. I don't know what that has to do with the book or these crystals or mushrooms. This seems kind of random, but it is pretty and I like that there's a lot of space to put pins. And that was designed by at Evie Bookish. The next thing is um, the candle that they have in every box from Flick the Wick, and this is the Court of Terracen, and the scents are Woods, Jasmine, Citrus, and Musk. I like those scents together. Mm. Yes, it smells very good. And it has like the, the stag on the front. I love their candles. I like... I like that they have them in every box because who doesn't need more candles? This next thing is like a little plaque thing that you can hang on the wall. And it says, even when this world is a forgotten whisper of dust between the stars, I will always love you. Oh, cute. Did Rowan say that? I can't imagine Aelin saying something like that. <laughs> Um, and it has the stag, mountains, the moon, stars. What What is this? Oh, it's, it's just wooden art. The next things are the bookmarks, uh, the wooden bookmark. They're both double-sided. This one says, I'd walk into the burning heart of hell itself to find you again. <laughs> oh, I love Rowan and Aelin. They're so cute. And then the back says, let's make a fight. Let's make this a fight worthy of a song. And this one has, I feel like everything Throne of Glass is like a stag, a sword, some mountains, the moon. <laughs> That's very common art for this series. And then the sturdy bookmark. I'm not the biggest fans of their sturdy bookmarks. I've said this before, but I feel like they all look the same. Like this design, like it's just, they, I feel like they need to just change it up a bit. Like we don't need more floral bookmarks with a black background. Like. We have that. Um, and this says, the fear of loss. It can destroy you as much as the loss itself. Floral design with a dagger. Ooh. And then the back says, know that wherever the world takes you, however dark, you will be all right. And it has some stars. I like this side better. It has like a watercolor feel to it. The next thing is a print, and um, this is a square print. Side A um, was designed, wait, I feel like this is a misprint. This says, Side A, Lucy and Cordelia by at Nessia Arts. But this is Manon. Who are Lucy and Cordelia? Who are those people? Those are not in this book series. I feel like that's a misprint. But I do like this print. Manon, she is? Or Manon. What is it? Is it Manon or Manon? Because I say Manon. 
But either way, she's a badass. Look at her and her little cape and badassery and claws. I like her. And then the back um, is a quote and it says, we are the 13 from now until the darkness claims us. Oh! I loved their story arc, like with the 13. I won't go into spoilers, but um, just seeing their beginning of like, at first of like, wow, they seem evil and I'm not into it. But then like, you're crying at the end. And there's a wyvern, <laughs> is that how you say it? Wyvern? Wyvern dragon. Let's be real, it's a dragon. Um, more floral. I don't know, I just feel like floral has its place. You can't put it everywhere. That's just my opinion though. And then we have the uh, sturdy art prints and this artwork is by at Emily's Nath underscore art and it is Rowan and Aelin and they are so cute. Um, and then the back, it says, we are the masters of our own fates. We decide how we go forward. And there is the stag mountains. Classic Sarah J. Mass features. And then, oh, there are, oh, I think this is the backing to the wooden thing. Um, last thing is the pen and... Um, it says, the world will be saved and remade by the dreamers. And this is not one of my favorite pins of theirs. Um, it's, they have sometimes really good pins where it's like beautiful and sparkly, but then they have some where it's just, it's just like a square with a quote. And I'm not a huge fan of those. But it's not the worst. What is with their They like to put orange, yellow, and blue together and red. Those are not my favorite colors when you put them together. <laughs> so that is it for the Dreamy Box. Um, I used to have a subscription with them, but I feel like it gets very repetitive and they just kind of switch out fandoms and just put different quotes. But I feel like all the stuff that's in the box is just the same like with each box. With the candles, I'm okay with that, but I, with other things, I just want to have a little more variety. So I've decided to only, well, actually, they don't have subscriptions anymore anyways, um, but I've decided to only buy the fandoms that I'm, like, in love with. And then maybe, maybe even then, um, I don't know, maybe just the box isn't, isn't quite for me. I mean, it was the first few times, but now it's like, I, I basically already have this, you know? So just, I want a little more variety. Next, I will be opening up the, I think this is the mail crate. <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's July. <laughs> Oops. If I can open this, I don't know where my scissors are. All right, I got it. Ooh, there's like a thing. I don't know what this is, but um, the theme is expect the unexpected. And yes, this is the mail crate. How embarrassing for me. Uh, okay, so this first thing is in a pouch. That's exciting. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a little... Is this a tote? It's a tote, but it's got an extra strap. That's cool. Um, and it says... May... May we meet again on the... On... <laughs> uh... On... Distant whores? <laughs> what? May we meet again on distant shores? Not whores. Got it. <laughs> um, that was really hard to read. I like, is this like corduroy? Is this what this is called? I remember I hated corduroy pants. They were just really uncomfortable and not stretchy and I need stretchy. Um, but I like this material on a tote. We do get totes a lot, but I like how this one is different. Um, not a huge fan of the quotes. I don't, I could not read it, but, um, all in all, I like this bag. It has a zipper. That's pretty exciting. Where's, oh, here it is. Does it have pockets inside? Oh, that's cute. And the little zipper has the All Crates logo. I don't think there are pockets inside, but, um, yeah, I, I think this is a pretty cool bag. Oh, 
there is a pocket inside. That is so cool. Oh, it is corduroy. This is um, a lovely line featured on our Obsidio inspired corduroy bag, which it was hand lettered by Studio Kyra Calligraphy. Oh, now I feel really bad because I was shitting on the calligraphy. I'm sorry, I just couldn't read it. It's just me. I can't read cursive. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is the Illuminae Files. I like that series. Um, I'm sorry, this it's beautiful, but just not very user-friendly for people who can't read cursive. The next thing is inspired by Rule of Wolves, and it is from Out of Print. Is that who did this? Yes, Out of Print. That's an interesting name. So it just says, we are monsters now. No, we're all monsters now. Maybe it's not the cursive. Maybe I'm just having trouble with my eyesight. Um, I have not read this series. I think this is a... Isn't this a continuation of the Grishaverse? I think King of Scars, Scar of Kings is the first one. Um... Is it about Nikolai? I want to say it is. Um, I've read Shadow and Bone series. Not my fave. I have the Six of Crows duology. I don't know when I'll read it. Um, but maybe I'll read this series after that. I don't know. I feel. I think I've heard that this is more adult-ish. So. I don't really have a need for a scarf. I feel like I'm being really grumpy in this and I'm sorry. I'm just, I guess I'm just being extra truthful today. Okay, next we have the pen, and I like this pen. It says, logic ends where love begins, and it's waves and the sun, and I like it. It looks really pretty. I love blue. It's my favorite color. And that was designed by Icy Designs. Oh, I remember. Okay, so... A couple things, I don't know if you can see it, but the book tin up there, inspired by V. Schwab's, what is that series called? Shades of Magic. So that, we have Red London, and now we have Grey London, and it says, Crown Captains, Deadly Pirate Kings, and Queens, um, Stas Rescon, don't know what that means, and it says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. Um... I like this whole series that they're doing. Um, I like book tins. They, they're secret compartments and those are like my favorite things ever. And that is designed by Forensics and Flowers. Next thing is this sticker and it says, most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs. And is that a wolf? And like a constellation? This is a vinyl sticker inspired by the Gilded Wolves and um, it is made by Lion in the Trees. That's cute. I'm gonna put this sticker in my tin where I keep all my other stickers. Next thing, oh, this feels like a bookmark. That's exciting. I love getting bookmarks. Ooh, it is, ooh, and it's so sturdy. Is this metal? It says, neither myths nor mysteries can hold a candle to the most in. In infinitesimal spark of hope. What the heck is that word? Infinitesimal? Infin infinitesimal? Excuse me? <laughs> um, this is a metal tassel bookmark. It was designed by Pixel and Ink Creative. And it is designed after Sky in the Fifth Season. Um, the back says... Hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator. I'm sorry, can we get back to infinitesimal? <laughs> that was so difficult for me to say. Um, this video is a mess. I like this bookmark. It is very pretty. I like the colors. I like the moon phases. I like tassels. Yeah, these are, these, it's really cool. I like bookmarks. What can I say? And then the last thing is the book. And it is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan. Oops. 
by Joan He. I could have sworn that we were supposed to get something in drinkware. Is that not a thing? Am I wrong about that? Maybe that's the next one because I don't see anything about that. Never mind. Forget what I said. So it comes with the author letter, which is on very thin paper. Usually it's on thicker paper than this. Um, but I love the colors of this book. I think this is the original. We'll see in the little booklet. But it's more like blues and yellows. And then this one is pinks and purples. And normally I'm a blue fan. And I don't know, I like this cover too. But this one is just really pretty. And I'm a fan. I have no idea what this book is about. Oh, I wonder if these end pages are exclusive. These are really pretty. Um, what is it naked? Oh, it's blue and it's got some designs. Don't know what they mean. Um, let me see the back. Ooh, different end pages. That's fancy. Um, let's see what this says. The ones we're meant to find is the twisty YA page turner that we didn't know we needed until we had this beautiful story in our hands. It's We Were Liars meets Black Mirror. Ooh, that sounds really good. With a dash of Studio Ghibli thrown in. Our signed special edition comes with an exclusive cover and an exclusive foil design on the hardcover case. Joan He also wrote an author letter just for Alcrate subscribers. Um, so yeah, I really like the cover change that they did. Let me see if that is for sure the cover change. Next month's theme is Go Your Own Way, and every June box will include an enamel item from Pineapple Sundays. I love enamel things. <laughs> um, yeah, so the original cover is like the more bluey yellow one, and this is the more purple pinky one. Um, so that is it for these unboxings. What are my favorite things in each box? I think my favorite thing from this box is this tin, and my favorite thing from the other box is this candle, because it smells so good. Um, I'm sorry for the chaotic mess. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like chaos and you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you got these boxes, what was your favorite item. Subscribe if you want to see more of this chaotic content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Where are my scissors? I kind of took. I have this. I ha they, they don't have subscriptions anymore. And I cannot talk. No, I'll cut that out. Cut that out.